What's good, everybody? This is Mr. Composition, the MC that writes fiction, and we are back at it with the Hunters Guild Red Hood review. And this is actually going to be a lengthy one because I just read, I got, 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 I got caught up. <laughs> so I, I read, you know, chapters two through six, and we're going to break down a couple of things. If you like this content, definitely let me know. I want to do some more, you know, content regarding this now that, you know, I'm caught up and things, things are getting really, really dope. I like the way that things are turning. Um, so basically to explain what's been going on as far as uh, from chapter two to six basically we start off with chapter two where you know it's a breakdown of how the werewolves came to be you know and basically this whole ideology between Valu and Grimm that you know Valu's just all like well you know how are we gonna get rid of really all of the werewolves when they come from humans and you would have to get rid of humans and Grimm goes on to say well we you know in the guild have a plan for that and I was just like okay so that's very very interesting and then you know it goes off with Grimm basically asking Valu you know if he would go ahead and you know come with her and become a hunter and he's just all like well you know i gotta be here to protect the village and everything like that and she's just all like you know yeah that's all fine to dandy but you know there's other places you know that are like this and i like how she she sees as far as the potential and know and she explains that we need all the help we can get you know then we are introduced to two other werewolves you know their uh their brothers naroya and doduo <laughs> you know and they it it gets very very interesting you know as chapter two progresses you know they're the two werewolves are thinking they're you know they got everything planned out because they're looking at them and they see them like chilling and everything like that but then we go to find out that you know that is definitely not the case and so we're introduced you know as Grimm is basically breaking down everything like you know uh, we get into chapter three and she's basically explaining that yo there's those two werewolves over there don't do anything like just act relax and chill and she gives him as far as this rifle he's all like i already got one and she's all like that's not gonna kill a werewolf but the uh check off series does and so that's very very interesting as far as the type of weapons all of these are very important that i that i see and so we go on and within chapter three uh, we get as far as uh, the fights between um, Grimm and one of the brothers. I want to say that it is not the duo, but the other one. And so we are introduced to another Hunter's uh, 616 tools, which is the gas shells. And those are super dope because literally they let out as far as these, these, these gas and what that does to the werewolf is it knocks off as far as the uh, scent and as far as the, um, the scent and the sight. Uh, no, no, no. She's actually going against the other brother, the the older brother. And so this is kind of like uh, they already did everything with the other brother. He basically uh, failed. And so now we're here as far as with this. Um, and Grim tells Valu that you're going to be the one to, you know, do this, to do this shot. You know, and the thing was that um, the dude, he was explaining that with werewolves, they have this awesome regenerative factor, you know, and within that regenerative factor, 
you know, they can basically get out of every situation because they're going to regenerate. Now, the thing is, though, Velu goes and fires this shot and he realizes that he's not able to regenerate. And so we get another breakdown of the two ways that the guild found out that you could kill a werewolf. One is by burning it. And then the other one is through a special type of metal that we go on to find out through Grimm is Wolfonium. So originally the werewolf was just all like, oh, you know, silver isn't going to do it, you know, because that's one of the lures. But, you know, as a... (laughs) As a plot for this story, (laughs) we get introduced to Wolf Onium. And so basically what that is, is that um, it has the same properties as silver, but it's harder and heavier than lead. Wolf Onium bullets can do more than pierce a werewolf's hide. If you hit a vital point, they can even kill in one shot you know so but heavier slugs need more gun uh powder more gunpowder means a master kick to the gun normal hunting rifles couldn't handle the stress of firing one thus they developed the chekhov series you know so that's really really dope breaking down that's gonna be um cool so that's within chapter four You know, then we get as far as continuing on with that. We get this really cool fight that goes on. So within that, they're able to win because of the chimney and blew up one of the the houses. So we get into chapter five, and you know, as they're celebrating the, the deaths of these two werewolves, this huge werewolf and this witch pops up and the wolf is, the werewolf is just like, fear not, I've come only to check on my sons. And then freaking <laughs> uh, Grib comes out with another 616 tools chains of sapiens. Now, this I think this is number four of these 616 tools. So this is super dope. I like these tools. You know, these tools are freaking fire. So looking at that. And we find out that, so this is what was crazy. So those were no random wolves. This was uh, the sons of a, seems like a pretty important person. So we go on to find out that this big wolf and the lady, they all know each other. So we find out that they're a part of the, what we find out as far as that, um, the wolf's name is Lycaon. You know, the big wolf's name is Lycaon. They all, Grim, Lycaon, and the other witch, which we find out, what her name is, which is very, very interesting. That's why I'm like, with with the fairy tales and everything that's going on, it's super dope. But we find out that Grimm's, why she can turn into an adult and different things like that, we find out that it, within here that there's a time limit, you know? And so she's trying to hurry up and fight but she's getting molly whopped and we and we find out from like yon the father that you know he can smell so he's after who killed the sons and so he looks at valu 
and he's just all like, okay, I see it in your eyes, you know, you're not, you're not strong enough yet, but you, you're gonna be fun, I can, I can tell, so I'm gonna go ahead and not eat you, and you go get stronger, and then how will that be in the future, basically, <laughs> and then within here, um, we find out that the witch's name is Cinderella, the Ashen Witch, and she goes and she does this upside down crash the mum and burns the whole village. So everything Valu was wanted to do, <laughs> you know, as far as for the village, the village just got burnt to a crisp you know and that was pretty much ending chapter five and you know stating this was when Valu became a hunter and we find out that uh Leku, whatever his name is and cinderella they're a part of this organization called the red list and Cinderella tells Grimm to tell the guild that the Red List is on the move again. Um, and I thought that this was a very important thing, which was Cinderella says, hunt and kill as many as you want. The Red List will just keep getting longer. We want to live too. We aren't going to give up. So that i thought that that was very interesting because we're looking at these two ideologies you know so that's the end of chapter five you know so let's go ahead and now i'm gonna break down as far as everything that i've got up to here and then i'm gonna go ahead and do a separate video that's gonna do a review of chapter six and then we're gonna do as far as predictions as far as for chapter seven so uh within as far as chapters two through five there was a lot that was going on and they, i felt like this was building up to some really amazing things so we got introduced to two more 616 you know hunter tools so all in all i think we've seen four so if we're gonna go through all 616 that's gonna be really really cool um and how many does grim have in her possession um we found out as far as these two we for one we found out that the wolf that ate as far as the that was pretending to be as far as old lady, whatever, was literally an older wolf. Grimm stated that the the bones, that there was no teeth as far as that werewolf. And the ones who, there was teeth on the bones of the mayor, so these were from at least two other wolves. So we find out these other two wolves, you know, and they're sitting there thinking that they're all you know smart they got it all going on Grimm is like a million steps ahead and Grimm is trying to set up Valu so that way he can go ahead and be the hunter that she sees you know obviously and I'm starting to see little hints of you know how maybe he's destined as far as for this so it's really really dope um so we get that, we get as far as this this moment of Valu, you know, thinking, because Grim kept on stating like, yo, we're gonna use your plan since you wanna save the village, you know, boom. Because Grim was saying like, if I can get, make sure that your village is safe and things like that, will you be a hunter, you know? And so we get that. So. Grim gets, I mean, Valu gets that really cool, just like, man, like, and the villagers are all happy and everything like that. And then, boom, we get introduced to two, it looks like, major people, and they know Grim. We get the father of the two werewolves that they just killed, and as far as this witch named Cinderella, you know, so 
you know, in the first chapter, it stated as far as like, you know, the dragons, the werewolves, the witches, you know, different things like that. So I'm thinking that this red list is going to comprise of the organization that the father werewolf and the and Cinderella are a part of. I think that there's going to be something there where it's going to be an organization of all of the different people that the Hunters Guild are trying to get rid of, you know, so I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, vampires are in there and different things like that, so that would be, that would be really cool. Uh, what else do we get? We get another Hunters tool, like I said, during that uh, one with Grimm and the werewolf. Uh, we get as far as this is when you know Valu becomes and decides to be a hunter because he has nothing left because Cinderella scorched the freaking village and everyone went there all their separate ways so this is really cool I really like the way that the story is developing it makes me think how how far they can build up you know i'm not saying that there's too much information being given i think that it, it makes sense because you can build a lot of it so we'll we'll see you know there's only six chapters out and i'm liking it so far definitely liking the way the pacing the way that they're building up the character it's not random like he it makes sense you know he knows the village you know it's not plot for him to be able to, to recognize who would be a werewolf just out of the fact that he knows everyone in the village you know so that's not far-fetched or crazy uh, he knows how to use a gun. He just now has the, the you know, the overpowered one and Grimm let him know like, hey, it's gonna have some kick. So be prepared, you know, and then finding out as far as that, you know, they can, the two ways that werewolves can die is through, you know, burning and as far as through this special metal and they basically executed both on the, you know, the other werewolf. And it was a cool developing moment as far as Valu to be able to empathize with the, with the younger brother, it seemed like, because the older brother straight up murked him because of his quote unquote failure. You know, he was supposed to keep them separate, and here he comes after Grib comes with a freaking bell <laughs> and Fs him up. So that's interesting. It's interesting. So, hey, this is as far as the review for chapters two through five. Like I said, I'm going to go into chapters six and do a little review on that. But anyways... Mr. Composition MC that writes fiction. Make sure to hit the like, hit that notification bell, subscribe, and make sure to check out my manga. The most random manga is out. You can read 11 issues and you can order volume one, which has 11 issues. So check that out. Again, this is Mr. Composition. Peace. Second guessing, cause it was already written, or was it? Is it all predetermined or devised by your hand? No need for second guessing when you're sticking to the plan. No need for second guessing when you're sticking to the plan. Is it all predetermined or devised by your hand? No need for second guessing when you're sticking to the plan.